I did a Nuzlocke challenge for Monster Hunter Stories 1 back in 2020, and that did really well. But then Stories 2 came out and I started noticing other YouTubers doing the same challenge for the game. So I decided to do something different. I had all these ideas I wanted to do for Stories 2 playthroughs. These included beating Stories 2 with only certain generation monsties, element monsties, species, gear, attack type, etc. But as I wrote down these ideas, I was thinking, these challenges might become stale and repetitive over time, especially in the same game. And that's when it hit me. I'll combine all these video ideas into one big Nuzlocke challenge. Here are the rules. 1. Can only obtain one monster egg from each tagged area. 2. If a monster faints, it is considered dead and can't be used in battle anymore. 3. Cannot use mandatory monsties in battle, including Ranmar and Ratha. 4. The AI partner's monstie dying does not count for this challenge. 5. You must nickname your monsties. 6. Dupes Claws is in effect. And finally, rule 7. If you lose all your monsties in your party and your stables, you lose the challenge. These are just the standard rules. This is the part where the combination of those video ideas come in. There will be a wheel for each chapter of the game that adds a condition for the Nuzlocke in said chapter. The condition that's chosen will reset upon completing the chapter, and the wheel for the next chapter will decide the next condition. With all these rules explained, let's see if I can beat this challenge. I don't know why I recorded in that voice, I guess I just wanted to sound cool. This is for chapter 1, let's go! The wheel lands on Gen 5 Monsties. The only ones I have access to at this point are Kulu Yaku and Puke Puke. Kulu is our starter and we name it Nugget, and then beat the Puke to grab our egg. We hatch it and name it Toadette because mushrooms and move on to fight the Rage Raid Anjanath. Keep in mind that both Nugget and Toadette are tech monsties and don't have speed moves yet and Anjanath is power when enraged. So if it aims for any of my monsties, it'll cause some damage. I am not going to, I'm not going to use my kinship yet. She can use it, but I won't yet. Still cannot go for the nose yet. Okay, maybe once he uses Burning Blast, that will be it. Because if he hits us with this, we can't get burned. Yeah, ineffective. Okay, now he's in the power state. Can we attack his nose? Finally, we can attack his nose. I'm better off using the kinship once he's knocked down. There we go. That was actually a smarter play. Got a big crit there. See, guys? That was a smart play by yours truly. Get everyone attack up. Unless she finishes it off for me, which she does. And there we go. There's our first obstacle down. Thankfully, we had no deaths so far, but it's only going to get harder from here since there's more conditions on the second wheel. Spin the wheel, see what we get. It's bird wyverns only. Ah! We already have two bird wyverns in our party, so the only other bird wyverns we can get are Blue Yonkaku, Great Jaggy, Kurapeko, Yangaruga after beating it, and Velocidrome and Yonkaku since we didn't get the encounter at North Kamuna Cape yet. We get the encounters for Blue Kaku, Great Jaggy, and Kurapeko for now. I hatched the eggs and named the Blue Kaku Blurb because Blue Burb, Jaggy Greatest J because Greatest Jaggy, and people kept begging me to name it after Sushi Pete's Great Jaggy. Shout outs to him, by the way. Then names the Kurapeko Didgeridoo. Once we train them up, we dispatch a flying poodle rat and go back to Hakalo Island to get the Velocidrome as our encounter. We hatch it and name it Slu because it's a combination of Slash and Blue. Then we chase down a Basarios over and over again until we beat it. Not the most exciting part, but at least no one died yet. Once we get that part out of the way, we find Yangaruga. My team was somewhat underleveled when we engaged it, but I was confident, but perhaps too confident. I need to go into Slu here because Slu is speed and this guy's gonna go power most likely. Oh, Flame Blaster, good thing I switched actually. Oh, no! No! Oh! We lost Slu! Oh no, he's in rage mode, okay. Ah, uh, we don't have a speed monster at all. I have an idea, it's provided he can live this. Oh, he lived it, okay, we're good. We're good. Get everyone to do more damage. Yes, oh my gosh. Slu, I am so sorry. I guess you can say Garuga Slu, Slu. <laughs> Moving on. On the bright side, we got a young Garuga encounter in the Windwood. We hatched a Garuga and name it Slu Slayer since, well, yeah. We do battle with the Durambaros, and this fight was a little tricky, but we managed to beat it with no deaths. We take on Nargakugo, which was a clean sweep thanks to Nugget having both power and tech moves to counter it. But now we have to battle Alwyn and his Legiana. 
Our team has tech moves, so you would think we have an advantage because his monster is a speed type. Well, let's see how this plays out. <gasps> what would you even do in this situation? Okay, he's just using a life suit. Oh, I forgot that he's weak to ice. Okay, this is not necessary. I'm on your side. I'm on your side, you, you booty. <gasps> While he wins a head-to-head -head here. Or do rock throw. <gasps> No! Nugget! I'm gonna use an herb to heal him just to top him off. Okay, well, it's a good thing I topped him off. Mm. Oh, he only aimed for me. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, come on! He's poisoned. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We, we're getting there. Oh, I can ride. It's probably gonna hit all targets, but... Oh, come on! Oh! Oh, wait! Lose a heart. Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Yes. Yes, we should win this. No! Wait! No! No! Oh! We had two casualties, but thankfully it doesn't matter whether you win or lose this battle. After that, we have to grind levels before taking on the Rage Raid Rathi. This boss is difficult, especially since we only have tech monsters that don't have speed moves. But there was a solution. Transferring the Killer Strike gene from Slu, who's dead, and putting it on Slu Slayer. How ironic. After a while of training, we take on the Rage Raid Rathian. Slu Slayer is our only hope if we want to survive this. Toxic Somersault shouldn't be effective. It shouldn't be anyway. Buffering for you. Let me... Oh, it poisoned. Oh, and it poisoned me. I'm just going to do a double because then I don't have to worry. Wait, how much damage did that do? That did about half. Okay, we knocked her over. Oh! Double! Double! We got a double. This should finish it. Yes! Let's go! Woo! This battle was a little stressful, but thankfully Slu Slayer carried the team. Now it was time to spin the wheel again. And let's spin this wheel and see what we get. Raw monsters only. Phew, nothing terrible. The raw monsters we can get are Great Baggy, Gypsaros, Nursilla, and Kongalala. Yes, these are raw monsters despite having status ailments. Every other raw monster we either already have or can't get due to getting the encounters from previous areas. There was one area I did miss though, but I'll mention that later. After obtaining a Great Baggy Egg, we wipe the floor with a Rage Raid Zamdrios and then work on the other encounters. We go back to Alcala to grab one encounter we missed to get an Apsaros Egg. This isn't the area I mentioned we missed, but it's one of them. We hatch the Baggy and name it Drowsy, and then the Apsaros and name it Ankylosaur. As we go to find the other encounters, something rather unfortunate happens. Where I just increased our attack a little bit. Oh, no! We gotta run. We, ah, uh, we lost Greatest Jaggy. Yep, just like that, we lost the Greatest Jaggy. Sorry, Sushi Beats. We grab a Gypsaros egg from Loloska Rocky Canyon and a Kongalala egg from Loloska Forest. Sadly, these are the only raw monsters we're getting as Nursilla is found where we got the Kongalala. We hatch the Gypsaros and name it Turkey because it looks like one and hatch the Kongalala and name it Konga Uwu. Yes, I put Uwu in the name, you can't stop me. As we train our team, something scary happens. I am though, I'm weak to- Oh! <gasps> After that close call, we continued the grind. This took a while since I needed this new team to be at least level 17 before taking on the rest of the section. Once the team got to a decent level, we take on their Scylla, which didn't pose much of a threat, a Baroth in an ice cave, which makes no sense, and a Toby Gadashi, which actually posed a threat. He's still in that state. He's gonna use the windmill now. Don't, don't you dare crit. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> He's knocked over. Get the crit. Yeah, there we go. A close call, but no deaths nonetheless. The next fight with Kezu, however, posed an even bigger threat. I have to keep Turkey in because he's supposed to be immune to electricity. Except that's not electricity. <gasps> he did half damage. The roar is so nasty. Oh, damage. 
Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's using Thunderfield. Okay, that's not as big of a deal. Assuming it doesn't do too much damage to Turkey because he can literally take it because he's rubber. Turkey took it. Oh my goodness, he took it like a champ. Okay, yes, let's do the double. Thousand damage. Okay. Once we reach the top of the glacial peaks, we fight the Rage Raid Celtus Queen and her peasant. This fight isn't hard as long as we keep Drowsy alive. We need Drowsy for the formation because at that point, Celtus Queen uses power which doesn't bode well for the rest of my team. Drowsy is the only one with speed moves and is pretty frail, so if he gets hit by Celtus Queen in formation mode, he may not survive. At this point, they're using power. I have to switch into Drowsy. Drowsy's the only speed monster. Oh? Okay, that did not hit Drowsy. He's in rage mode, so he's using speed. However, Drowsy's using a tech move, so we can work with that. Okay, head to head tie. Uh oh. Oh, it's a good thing I'm riding. I don't know whether I should go for the double. I am going to wait this one out. Okay, we got the flash bomb off. Now I can go for the kinship. Oh, oh, okay, she's down. I'm gonna kinship anyway. Yes! He was close! Woo! Thankfully, Drowsy didn't get hit in that battle. But now it was time to face off against the Rage Raid Legiana. I thought this fight was gonna be easier, but I underestimated it. Here's what happened. Maybe, maybe Kanga Uwu wasn't the best, but I'm gonna keep him in still. That might actually be a mistake. But... He should take this. Oh! Okay, never mind! Kanga Uwu barely took it. Go! Get the wings. Break them. Yes! Wait. I'm gonna wait one more turn. I'm gonna wait one, one more turn. So that Avinia can get get on Frost Bear. <gasps> he knocked me off! No, I should have. Oh, I should have went for it. You guys may think this is a bad idea, but it's actually a good idea. Because double attack! Booyah! There we go. That was exactly what we're looking for, and it is down. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could say I stopped underestimating future fights, but that's not the case as you'll see later on. But now it's time to spin the wheel for chapter 4. This will be the wheel for the rest of the challenge as I don't want to add too much more than what's already on there. Let's spin the wheel, see what we get. Brute Wyverns only. The only Brute Wyverns we can get at this point are Baroth, Jade Baroth, and Anjanath. Thankfully for us, we didn't use up all the encounters in Loloski yet. We get a Jade Baroth Egg in Base Mount Lavina, an Anjanath Egg in the Woodlands, and a Baroth Egg from the Retreat Den in Lavina Mine Cave. We hatch Jade Baroth and name it Slush, name the Anjanath Spicy Snarl, and Baroth Ground Beef. It takes us a good while to train this new team since we need to be level 24 for this chapter. With the Brutes trained up, we fight and beat a Plesioth, and then a Cephatrome which didn't put up much of a fight. I was training some more when I went to the next section, only to forget to turn in some quests for more XP. Wait a minute, oh no, I'm gonna be thrown into this. I forgot to turn in the quests! Oh no, okay. Um, oh my gosh, I did not think this through. Oh, it's a good thing they're just using tech. Oh, crit! Oh gosh, that actually did more than I thought. Oh my gosh, this fight actually may cause us to lose someone, may. Let's see if I can build some kinship here. Oh! Okay, that's not hurting Anja as bad. Oh, but now he's at half health. Oh, the poison! Oh! Okay, we're, we're fine, we're fine. They're all aiming for me. I need to Mega Potion myself. Oh, they lost another heart. We just aim for the Mysterious Rider on the left. Oh, that does hit all of them. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Roberto comes in clutch. Oh, I avoided whatever he threw at me. Oh, that's right, because Heavy Spear. Oh, oh, he's going to go for a kinship attack. I've switched in the slush and then use guard. Okay. Wait, who did that hit? That hit Roberto. Okay. Um, it may be in my best interest if I don't kinship, actually. No, uh, no, I can't risk it. Okay, that, I made a good play. Oh, wait! We can do a double. We can finish this right now. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Wait, no. Oh, oh, no. I'm such a dummy. 
Made him lose a heart. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh my goodness. Oh. Was that enough? Yes. That was enough. We could easily have lost one of our monsters there, but we played it smart, which got us the win with no deaths. Am I doing that voice again? I guess I just can't help it, guys. I just like sounding cool. <laughs> On our way to Lamore Tower, we come across a Rage Raid Diablos, which was easy to deal with thanks to the use of Sonic Bombs and Ground Beef's use of Wildbreaker. Up next was another battle with a Rider and his Ruby Vasarios. This fight wasn't too bad other than this part. If I just use a potion, we should live this. Wait, how much damage did that do? Oh! That did over half to everybody! After that though, this was an easy sweep. The battle with Monopolis was fairly trivial, but the fight with Black Diablos was... Well, you'll have to see for yourself. Avatar The Last Airbender? Oh. I have... <gasps> no! Ground beef! No! Oh. Let's just take this opportunity to do some crits. Yes! We're finishing this right now. Ground beef! This one's for you! Oh, come on! Now he's done skis. Come on! Come on! Why does this thing have so much health? You done skis! You done skis! Oh, come on! Go down! Why? This thing has been on low health for a while! Just die! Yes! Finally! That fight was way more trouble than I bargained for since ground beef was our only answer with both speed and tech to counter it. After that, it was yet again time to spin the wheel. <coughs> Banged beasts only. We already have Konga Uhu in our stables at this point, so the only other fang beasts we can get in this chapter are Ash Ketchawacha, and weirdly enough, Arzuros. Remember when I said that there was an encounter we missed in Alcala? Well, it turns out, we never got an egg in Mount Harzgai. We get our Ash Ketcher from the North Lamor Everden, and we go to Mount Harzgai and make an Arzuros retreat and get the egg. We also tried to get a Palamute encounter from a multiplayer den and never got it due to how rare it is with normal tickets. The tickets you buy with bottle caps, so at this point, they were limited. We hatched the Ash Ketcha and named it Sniffer, but renamed Sniffler later, and named the Arzuros Bookster. When we were training the new team, we were doing trial quests because they gave good XP, but nothing could prepare me for what was about to happen in the next trial quest. Oh, he knocked me off. Okay. I can't run from this battle, sadly, so we kind of have to stick with it. Oh, and you know what? He attacks twice per turn, doesn't he? Oh, no. I should have seen that coming. I think I'm screwed. I think that's the run. I was going into this training for chapter five, and I think I might just lose it. The best thing I can do right now is flash bomb and hope he misses. Ah, that's Boog, he's dead. Wait, I have an idea. I am going to mega potion him and hope he lives. Wait, he's using a speed attack. Use a move on me, please. I need you to make me lose, make me die. Yes, just take me. I'm gonna waste a turn. Just do whatever you want with me. Hit me. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. We nearly lost the challenge in the process of training the team. Only Konga Uwu remains. If he dies before we beat this chapter, we lose the run because there's no Fang Beast left alive in the stables and we can't get any more encounters. Or can we? We'll get to that later. I have to use the right of channeling to buff Konga Uwu quite a bit if we are to have any chance of surviving. We move on to progress and now have to face off against Crimson Kuropeko. This fight is notorious for its difficulty due to not having a battle buddy and Crimson calling in a Plume Damio Hermitar. This battle could be a disaster and if Konga Uwu doesn't make it, the challenge is over. This isn't a good idea, I can already see the end. It's too late. Already? It already, okay, here's a new plan. We have to ride him the whole time. So I'm just, no, he's not gonna hit me that hard. Okay, I have to heal again. Oh my gosh, okay, I just have to heal. Scissor guard, wait, if he's using scissor guard. No, no, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, 
there's just so much that can go wrong. If he's just gonna sit there waiting and seeing, we might actually have a chance. Wait, I'm gonna attack the head. He's downed. Oh, I was hoping for a sleep there. Wait, double attack. What was I thinking? Double. You could get knocked off again. Well, that's better than... Oh, but then again, I'll just go for him. Wait, that attacks both of them. I had no idea the kinship affected both. That means both of their turns are skipped. We're going to go for double attacks because that's going to be the play. With only one of them attacking, that means we have a higher chance of winning. They were both aiming for me. Oh, oh wait, wrong move. That's fine. I don't care if I faint. Go down. Yes, I'm going to go for the absolute evasion. Okay, go to sleep. Never mind. If he's going to scissor guard the whole time, here's what I can do. Yes. Attack the shell. Okay, got some crits there. I'm going for the kinship. He's got poisoned. The poison helps. Come on. Yes! We were at such a big disadvantage there, but we barely managed to pull through. But it's not over yet. We still have the Rage Raid Mizutsune to worry about. It's arguably the hardest Rage Raid boss in this game, and with only one Fang Beast on our side, it's bound to be more than a doozy. We have to train Kanga Uwu if we are to survive and win. Our way to train is Barrel Felines. They give a ton of XP and go down easy with Barrel Bombs. However, this takes time since they don't spawn often. After the long training session, we take out a Legaikris easily and progress to fight Mizu when a comment on my stream recommends that I try to Pal Mute Encounter again. I only had a handful of bottle caps and only a few tickets left to try and get the egg, so I'm hoping I can get it. <gasps> yes! I couldn't believe it. We actually got the egg and now have a better chance to survive this chapter. We hatch it and name it Mikey after my real life dog, and proceed to train it up with some barrel cats. After another long training session, we are now ready for the Rage Raid Mizu. This is how the fight went. Priority, we go for the legs. We got to sleep with Drowsy Fang. Ah, oh, my gun lance did little with that crit. Don't go for the tail, go for the claws. Oh, we got to sleep again. <laughs> Why is RNG being good to us? Can we get another Drowsy Fang off? No, okay. Well, let's see how much this does. How much did that do? Okay, not much. Okay, that's actually good. Oh, that's, oh, oh. Accuracy down is not good. Okay, this is where it gets scary. Okay. Oh! Who's that gonna hit? Me, okay, that's fine. Prevent him from attacking. Double attacks are key. Oh! Oh no. Oh! Oh yes! That did not do nearly as much as I thought it would. Now we got the guaranteed knockdown. Let's get some crits. Get some critical hits. <laughs> yes. Yes! That actually did not turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. We were probably overleveled and didn't need Mikey, but you can never be too prepared for that battle. Now it's time to roll the wheel again. See what we get. Equipment Nuzlocke. I knew this one wasn't going to be that particularly hard, so I made another rule specific to this condition. We can't ride our monsties until a monster is knocked down and can't attack back. This is because I could just chill on a monsties back to prevent my armor from getting wrecked. But on the way to Turga, we fight an Uragan standing in our way. This fight was going well until this happened. Hopefully that doesn't crit. This guy has a really low crit chance. No! Why do I talk? Dumb tail bombing maneuvers. There you go. Urgh. I didn't think Uragan posed that much of a threat, but because I had to open my mouth, Mikey died to a crit. Before we get our next encounters, we take on Astralos and Bracadios, since you have to beat them to unlock their eggs. Although the Bracky fight caught me off guard. Medieval themed monster hunter? Wait, no. Oh! That was a close one, but we beat the Bracky. We get a Brute Tigrex egg from the Lake of Flames, and an Astalos egg from a retreat den in the Turga base. We hatch the Brute and name it Devastator, after the Transformer, and Astalos non-reaver because it's not Bowie. We spend some time training them up in the Pomor Garden, and after the team is ready, we head to the Crystal Depths to find the Nergigante. Remember, this is an equipment nuzlocke as well in this chapter, so I have to be mindful of my own gear in addition to my monsties. Wait, what's happening here? 
Oh, oh, oh. Congo Uwu, you lived that like a champ. <laughs> All right, non reaver, let's see what you got. I have to guard. I got a guard. How much is that gonna do? Oh, I got a defense drop. He's paralyzed. Oh, oh, non reaver, you are a legend. Oh, 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 he's paralyzed. Oh, what? We all survived that barely. Oh, yeah, I'm guarding. Oh, oh, oh I lived. Yo, he crit me and I lived. Good thing I guarded. This fight was going well despite the close calls, but I made a big mistake here. Wait, can I be che Can I use cheese? Can I be cheesy? That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. No. No. Why did I think that would finish it? That doesn't matter. Them dying doesn't matter. Come on, finish it with the rock shooter. Yes. Oh. Yes, oh my gosh, our armor is dead. Despite that mistake, we were able to win and beat the chapter. But we did lose our equipment, so we must sell it before we spin the wheel. Goodbye, 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 Crimson Club. You will be remembered. <laughs> This condition means we can't use dead monsties for right of channeling, so we have to be careful. For our encounters, we get a Nergigante egg from the Crystal Depths, and an Uragan egg from the Volcanic Gates. Not that exciting. I named the Nergi Mike after a fallen friend, and named the Uragan Baby Thanos as a reference to the story's one nuzzle. I then notice a gene on Nergigante that will come in handy for this entire run. The Negate one-hit KO gene. We'll go over it later, but for now, we go on to the three pits to progress in the chapter. Basilgeese was a pushover and didn't take long to beat. But as for the other two fights, you'll just have to see. Well, he's gonna go for speed, so... Oh wait, no, he's not going speed! No! I... Okay, uh... His armor was on. Noted! <laughs> I spent a lot of genes on Konga Uwu, and now he's dead. Diamond Cross is gonna hurt. Come on, go down. Yes! It's the rule. Oh my gosh, this hurts me so much. Konga Uwu, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Ooh, he's gonna die of burn. Oh no, we both died of burn! Rip! <laughs> oh, what? It's a good thing I did, because he lost the head-to-head. -head. <gasps> double, 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 double. Okay. Oh, no. Who's that hitting? <gasps> no! Devastator! Oh, I can break the tail. Will that knock him? Oh, never mind. We won. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Devastator. We didn't even have you that long. But this is goodbye. Ah! Yes, those deaths were not fun, and releasing them made it even more heartbreaking, especially Konga Ubu because he was the MVP. Devastator had a lot of potential, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanted him for the end game. <laughs> anyway, after the sad moments, we go to train more in the Turga when I make yet another mistake in the run. I'm gonna go to Nuate, turn in the quests, get some XP. Oh, never mind. No, no, I forgot. No, I was only grinding. No, 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 no. I guess we have no choice but to fight. Here goes nothing. It's been nice knowing you guys. This run has been absolutely fantastic. Oh boy, the Zenogra powering up is scary. Wait, the burning blast. Wait, heat up. I can make him heat up and he can use burning blast. That helps. He's weak to- <gasps> They got one heart down. This may not be that bad. I don't want to jinx it though. Wait, no, he's going for a kinship attack. Oh wait, I should have used protect. Oh, that didn't- that wasn't bad. Okay. That was not nearly as bad. Oh, that's another heart. Onslaught roar is not helping. Go down. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Spicy snarl, you can do this. I have to go for a protect so that 
I'm targeted. Oh no, that hits everyone. Uh oh. No! I should have healed him. I just need Kyle to use the arc shot. <gasps> Wait, no! Yes! It's not over yet, though. This is scary. The fact that they have a brute Tigrex on their side. Wait! Plasma Blaster! Oh! Kyle charging isn't helping at all. Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh, no. Oh! He lived! Oh, but wait, someone's gonna use a kinship attack. This is where I need slush for this. Oh gosh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, he lived! Just keep using arc shots. Kyle's going for another arc shot. I just have to heal him up. Digging goes down, okay. Oh gosh, that's gonna hurt. Oh! Come on, take somebody out. Yes. Oh my gosh, all we need. Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh, the rock throw is scary. Oh, one heart from their side. They're all almost dead now. I have to go for a protect. Target me. Oh. Oh, <gasps> Mike, it's your turn. Wait, I can finish this right now. I'm finishing this right now. Oh no! Oh gosh, come on, just finish it. Yes! 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 Let's go! That was scary close. That fight could have easily ended the run, but I had to release Spicy Snarl before spinning the wheel for the final chapter. Spicy Snarl, because you died during that challenge, I'm sorry. You did good. For this final wheel spin, the last thing I wanted was Piscine Wyverns only, since our run could easily end if we have Cephadrome. Regardless though, we'll have to see where it lands. Let's spin the wheel! No. 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 No! No! This was bad, since the only ice monster in my party was my Jade Baroth Slush, and I got all the encounters in Loloska as well, so it's not possible to get another monster. Or is it? There was one thing I realized. There was another multiplayer quest where I could get an ice monster, the Mysterious Den. This could be my chance at beating this Nuzlocke. The monsties I can potentially get are Legiana, Berioth, and Legombi. Hopefully not Legombi since it's very weak, but let's see what we get. Ice Monsty! Yes! Thank goodness it's a Berioth egg. I hatch it and name it Last Hope because in case things go south with Slush, he'll be the only one left alive. I train the team up to level 45, which is a decent enough level to take on the final boss. Try to guess if I'll win or not. Let's do this. The first real obstacle was Zeller. I was confident that this fight would be easy since most of his attacks don't do that much to us at our level. But once again, I underestimated my opponent. It's a good thing he only does that spread out instead of just like one person at once. <gasps> no! I was able to survive that way before on my previous playthroughs. Last hope, you're weak to fire but you're our last hope. I was really relying on Jade Baroth there because he's not weak to fire. <gasps> he's almost down. Oh, we did it, oh my gosh. Yes, I lost Slush because of my overconfidence. Things were looking really bleak and I needed a solution if I hoped to beat this challenge. That one shot move in the final phase can wipe out any chance I have of winning. But then I remembered something. If you guys remember earlier, I got a Nergigante with a specific gene that would be useful. The Negate one-hit KO gene. With this gene, Last Hope can survive the one-shot move if we don't break the wings in time. I guess Last Hope really is our last hope. But now, it's time to face Ultura. It's now or never. The victims of this Nuzlocke will be cheering you on. Yes, they certainly will. This is for all the fallen members. It, I have Negate one-hit KO, and this is like False Swipe. This acts like False Swipe. That's bad, though. He's using fire moves, that's bad. Okay, yeah, he's using power, okay. Oh, I got I got a mild crit on that. Wait. 
Oh my. Oh no. 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 Oh gosh. Last hope. No, you cannot die like this. My kinship's up. I. Oh, I might have to stay ridden for a while. He's using fire attack still. Oh my gosh. Stops him from attacking that turn. Okay. We're double kinshipping. We're doing a double. Okay, lots of damage. Aqua bullet, that's gonna hurt me. Oh my gosh, the amount of damage that he just dealt there. I have no time for stupid mistakes. Oh gosh, ice bullet, killer crush. Good thing I had him do that. What's he gonna do here? Is he gonna do that? He's gonna hit everybody at once. I'll vital essence. Oh my gosh, that did way more than I thought it would. Wait, I have skill seal. No, no. Oh, I was going to use gunland skills to get my kingship up. This thing has to be using speed now still. Yeah, it's still using speed. Ceiling shrieky. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, now I have to use a zest pill. Okay, he's just charging. I'm using a zest pill. Hail Tempest, that's going to hurt. It's going to hurt me, but come on, break a wing. Yes. That's one wing broken. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, crit. Oh, I'm still sealed. Yes, crit. Yeah, I'm waiting for Kyle. Oh, this is the true fight now. Oh, wait, no, I was still ridden. Double kinship. Something tells me I probably shouldn't have done that, but... Oh, snow spray for the win. Running out of items? Listen, it doesn't matter if I run out of items. It All that matters is that I'm mighty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ride? You want me to do kinship, guys? Save the kinship for the fifth phase? Then if that's the case, I'm just gonna heal. I have two life powders left. Okay, now we're in the final phase. This is where things get scary. We're gonna have to break both wings as fast as we can. I'll ride, but I won't do kinship yet. Oh, critical hit. Oh my gosh, this is scary. The next attack is going to hit hard. Oh, they notified us. Okay, well, it's a good thing we're riding right now. Either way, Last Hope has negate one hit KO. No, I can't kinship. Oh, it's still swallowing. Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was going to go for the hit. Yeah, we only have one wing left. My kinship can't break the wings. So it's best if I don't kinship. I can't break the wings with the kinship. Look, guys, I can't. My kinship on Barioth can only deal damage to multiple targets, not specific body parts. So, oh gosh, We're, we might survive this. We survived. Kyle didn't survive, but we did. We did, we did, we did, we did. I'm warm staking the wings. I'm warm staking the wings. Do it. Did we? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Let's go! Yes! We've done it! We have beat the Nuzlocke! Oh my gosh, with only Ice Monsties! Last Hope is the champion of this special Nuzlocke challenge. The battle was hard and we were so close to losing, but in the end, we came out victorious. I guess we didn't need the negate one-hit KO after all. But if you want to see a Nuzlocke that was even harder than this one, check this one out because it was hardcore and it broke me.